<laughs> Look at him, fellas. <laughs> you crying, boy? Yeah. You crying, boy? Woo! Maybe we'll go back down to McDonald's and get you a Whamburger and some French fries. Woo! You little sissy boy! Death right, Leopard sucks! What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Let's get a couple things straight here. The point of comedy is to uplift you, to give you a little bit of escapism from the cold, brutal, political, hate-filled world. And so comedians should be totally okay with doing anything that provides relief for their audience, that provides a little levity for their audience. Jimmy Kimmel, therefore, definitionally, is not a comedian. Jimmy Kimmel is a sad, overweight, hack who is not been funny in the better part of 20 years. What do you expect? Jimmy Kimmel complains that he's lost half of his fan base by turning on Trump and says he told ABC executives that he would quit if they made him tone down his late night rhetoric because that's what you tune into, right? For late right. You tune in to be scolded by multimillionaires who live in mansions who don't have any grounding in reality, who have no clue what your life is like. They are rich beyond your wildest dreams. They fly private. You don't fly at all because airline tickets are too expensive right now. They take black cars. You take Uber X on very special occasions. And so people like Jimmy Kimmel are just smug, lobotomized lunatics, and they've destroyed their audiences. And they're also very thin skinned. That's another reason why he's not a comedian. You have to have some thick skin to actually be in the comedy game. Go check our Twitter mentions, man. People just destroy us all day. That's okay. That's what it's like to be in the arena. Jimmy Kimmel now is absolutely bitching and moaning that Tucker Carlson is making fun of him. And we think it's glorious and salty and sweet. And the tears should be salty, but Jimmy Kimmel's tears are actually quite sweet to us. They taste like uh, Rocky Road ice cream. Okay, so let's start with a couple of things here. Why should Jimmy Kimmel hate Tucker Carlson? Well, uh, other than the politics, let's go ahead and look at the ratings here real fast. Jimmy Kimmel Live is viewed by 1.5 million people per night. Okay, that's the average number of people who uh, watch the show. It's the 115th overall on TV, uh, most popular show. It's the 25th most popular show on ABC. Yikes, really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, 1.5 million people watch Jimmy Kimmel's show. Here's the live tick of his ratings. You can all, you can actually dip down. Look at this. You can get almost – you got less than a million people watching the show here on August of 2022. You got less than a million people watching his show. In comparison, you got – Tucker Carlson with 3.5 million viewers, and that's terrestrial. That's not all the people who watch on streaming. That's not all the people who watch later on the Fox News app or whatever. Tucker Carlson has the highest rated cable news show. Uh, this is a recent article. This was from February 14th, 2023. This is two weeks ago. So Tucker Carlson, 3.5 million people. So Tucker Carlson has 2 million more people tune into his show every single night than Jimmy Kimmel does. And Tucker Carlson's funnier than Jimmy Kimmel. Tucker Carlson also has huge viewers in the very coveted 25 to 54 uh, uh, age range. That is exactly the demographic group that national advertisers want so very, very badly. So yeah, Tucker Carlson's show crushes Jimmy Kimmel, along with a bunch of other comedy shows from Fox and uh, 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 Gutfeld, of course, right, has been the darling of the late night comedy scene as Gutfeld's show actually has stolen all of the audience from Colbert and Kimmel uh, and all of these just brain damaged wokesters. In fact, look at this. If you Google Jimmy Kimmel ratings on Google, you get 1.5... <laughs> 2,000 ratings, 1.5 stars. Look at all these people giving him one star. Oh, man. Just just absolutely. Yet he touts himself as the number one late night talk show. Nope. <laughs> right up here. Google, uh, uh, sometimes not right on these things, very right here. So we found it was just delicious as Jimmy Kimmel had a meltdown live on air over the COVID origins story. So a couple of things here. Duh. COVID leaked from a lab. That's obvious. They were creating coronaviruses, adding spike proteins to them to make them transmissible to humans. This was the laboratory doing it. Why would China be fighting this so 
bad if it wasn't true. If it wasn't true, why would China be threatening Elon Musk? Why would China be laughing and scoffing at the FBI that says that the COVID pandemic leaked from a Chinese lab? No, nah, dude, this is for real. And so Jimmy Kimmel went out to his audience after being destroyed by Tucker Carlson. He ends up playing the clip in his massive cell phone uh, and just crying and sobbing on air about being made fun of by a true comedian and somebody has who has multi-millions more in audience, uh, Tucker Carlson, than he does. Here's Jimmy Kimmel belly aching. Diarrhea. Tucker Carlson of Fox News. <laughs> Yesterday, we learned that the, um, the Department of Energy probably I love the lobotomized seals in the audience. Uh, probably know about this, believes with what they described as low confidence that COVID may have leaked from a lab in China. Eight federal agencies now have weighed in with their assessments. Four believe COVID came from natural transmission. Two say it was a lab leak and two are still undecided. In other words, we don't know. But the dingbats now see this as some kind of proof that they were right, that the virus came from a Chinese leak at a laboratory, which, by the way, it might have. The point is, we didn't. What, wait a second. If you're just admitting that it might have come from a library, then why are you calling people dingbats that believe that? So you just straight up said, yeah, it might have. Those, that's an exact quote attributable to Jimmy Kimmel. So, yeah, it might have. And now you're calling us dingbats? for knowing this was true all along being right for three years? We still don't know now, but what we did know is that Trump and his buddies blaming the Chinese resulted in a great deal of anti-Asian American sentiment and even violence in this country. And that's why it was irresponsible for the president to call it the China virus. But Tucker Carlson apparently disagreed. Who was committing the violence? This plague should never have happened. It could have been stopped. But people chose not to stop it. (laughs) What people? Tomorrow he'll blame the Spanish flu on Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Imagine if you're a comedian and all of a sudden your cue card has all kinds of talking points from politicians and foreign governments on it. Don't read it. You degrade yourself and you become complicit in the greatest crime in history. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, the idea... (laughs) That this man would accuse, that I would be accused of reading talking points from foreign governments. If it weren't so brazen, it would almost be funny coming from this loathsome, un-American Moscow mule. Speaking of- oh, got him. Tucker Carlson has to delete his show now. Got him, Jimmy Kimmel. Imagine thinking that's an own. Imagine thinking that that was an own. Tucker Carlson saying that you degrade yourself to his vastly superior audience. They all agree. Nobody agrees that Jimmy Kimmel has a great show. I mean, if you are getting owned this badly in Google reviews, Google, if your show is being destroyed this badly in Google reviews, then, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you should do some soul searching yourself, Jimmy. Why does Tucker Carlson have two plus million more viewers than you? Maybe because Tucker Carlson's right. Maybe because Weirdly, and strange bedfellows these days, Tucker Carlson's on the side of the FBI on this one. I asked you also back then about the investigation to COVID origins. Is the FBI in charge of the investigation of the origins of the coronavirus? Uh, we certainly have a role in looking into the origins of the coronavirus. Now there's this Department of Energy study uh, that says it's likely uh, to have come from a lab leak, although the confidence is low. It cites the FBI. What is the determination by the FBI? So, uh, as you note, Brett, uh, the FBI has for uh, quite some time now assessed that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident in Wuhan. Let me step back for a second. You know, the FBI has folks, agents, professionals, analysts, virologists, microbiologists, et cetera, who focus specifically on the dangers of biological threats, which include things like novel viruses like COVID, uh, and the concerns that that in the wrong hands, some bad guys, a hostile nation state, a terrorist, a criminal, the the threats that those those could pose. So here you're talking about a potential leak from a Chinese government controlled lab that killed millions of Americans. And that's precisely what that capability uh, was designed for. Wow, weird. So Jimmy Kimmel is against the FBI. Oh, ho, ho. who's on Jimmy Kimmel's side here? Let's see. The FBI and Tucker Carlson are on one side. That's interesting. And Jimmy Kimmel's correctly on the side of China. And we say correctly because predictably on the side of China. 
Of course, Jimmy Kimmel is simping for his commie overlords. China is upset at the FBI for saying that the Wuhan lab leak caused the COVID pandemic. Well, why would they be so upset if it wasn't true? China doesn't waste time on things like this. Of course, it's true. It's obviously true. It's been true. We've been telling you it's true. Everyone knows it's true. Even the nitwits at the Department of Energy inside of the Biden regime know it's true. Leak theory, which many scientists and conservatives were slammed for suggesting as the origin of COVID-19, now being accepted as fact by the Energy Department. The Wall Street Journal, citing a classified intelligence report recently provided to the White House and key members of Congress, reports, quote, the Energy Department now joins the Federal Bureau of Investigation in saying the virus likely spread via a mishap at a Chinese laboratory. The Energy Department's conclusion is the result of a new intelligence and is significant because the agency agency has considerable scientific expertise and oversees a network of U.S. national laboratories, some of which conduct advanced biological research. Okay, so if you want to ask the real questions, ask why was China doing this research? They were doing this research because Dr. Fauci was paying them to do the research. Chinese don't do anything for free. They're doing the research because Dr. Fauci paid them. That's the real criminal here. I think it's important to bring it always home to that little Keebler elf living in his tree ladies and gentlemen, but that's another video for another time. This is about Jimmy Kimmel and uh, Tucker Carlson. And Jimmy Kimmel is not only getting pistol whipped in the ratings by Tucker Carlson, he's also um, getting destroyed in his own alleged profession. Tucker's way funnier than Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, his show is way more entertaining. And Jimmy Kimmel is like a vapor, a ghost, a shadow of himself. Somebody who used to watch the man show, like, Jimmy Kimmel used to actually be funny. And then the woke mind virus took hold and he lost everything. So go woke, go broke, F around, find out, lose everything. And Jimmy Kimmel doesn't deserve a show. We'll be really, really excited when he gets kicked off. His show is failing. He has every right to cry. And we have every right to drink those delicious tears. We'll do so together as we save America. My name is Benny. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.